Aloha. My name is Nicole Lee, and I was born and raised in Waimea Valley and Kekaha on the west side. As a west side resident, I'm asking you to pass this bill and do what's pono to ensure the safety of our keiki first and foremost. I'm a mother of two young boys. My first son was born completely healthy, but my second son here, Pa'akamana'o, was born with an extremely rare heart defect called hypoplastic right heart syndrome along with many other organ abnormalities. This defect is not genetic, according to geneticists who tested us at Kapiolani Medical Center, as well as Rady Children's Hospital in San Diego. Upon the birth of Pa'a, we were shipped immediately to Oahu and then shipped from there to San Diego because our son was dying, his heart unable to pump his own blood through his body. He was hospitalized for almost six months and endured nine surgeries during those months, two of those being open heart surgery. I had to resign from my teaching position in Keikaha, and we now have to survive on one income. My son will live a life of constant medical attention. He will not be able to engage in aerobic activity. He's scheduled for his next open heart surgery in May, because as he grows, his heart function declines. If heart corrections stop doing the job to keep him alive, he may have to have a heart transplant between the ages of five and 10. We live day to day thanking God that he's still in our lives. Now I know there's no evidence yet of pesticides contributing to his heart defect, but there is a correlation between the fact that there is a lot of pesticide use on the west side and there's a great incidence of heart defects to children born on the west side. All I know is that while pregnant, I was not a user of tobacco. I did not drink alcohol. I did not use drugs. I took every precaution to, raise, to, to grow a healthy baby inside of me. I didn't even take ibuprofen because I'm informed that it can be harmful to my unborn child. But without disclosure of pesticides or studies to prove whether they're safe or unsafe, I cannot make an informed decision on behalf of my unborn child, which I should have the right to do. Don't I? By, by not passing this bill, you're telling me I don't have the right to know. In one letter delivered by medical professionals, professionals to the mayor, several doctors point to specific and rare birth defects. According to a doctor on the west side, I quote, recent CDC statistics put transposition at one in 3,300 births, hypoplastic left heart at one in 4,344 births, and hypoplastic right heart, which is what my son has, at one in 17,000 births. In the last three years, we've had 750 deliveries. This gives us an incidence of 53 in 10,000 births for these defects. National US data shows an incidence of 5.5 in 10,000 births. So that says that we have 10 Mommy. times the national rate Mommy. of these rare heart defects on the west Mom. side of Kauai. Without the basic right to know provisions provided by Bill 2491, Minutes. we the people bear the unfair risk of health impacts due to possible exposure. I know you've heard these facts and, I, and you ask, where are these people? They're just statistics, but I'm right here and Pa'a is right here. He's not just a statistic, we are the people. We are the people of the West Side, and we are the people being affected directly by your choices, council members. Why should we wait and expose ourselves without choice until pesticides are proven harmful? Shouldn't we do the studies first? If I had known, I would have chosen not to expose my unborn child as I innocently worked day in and day out in Keikaha. Excuse me, I hate to interrupt you, but we're running out of the tape. Your three minutes has passed. Could you quickly summarize? Without disclosure, I have no choice. I have no knowledge. You're taking away my right to know. Buffer zones, disclosure, environmental studies, this is not too much to ask. I know I can't change Pa'a's life, but maybe if we act soon, we can protect the lives of the unborn children who are relying on us and on you to make the choice to protect them. Thank you. Thank you. And we do wish you all the best with Pa'a. Mom,